Watch our behind the scenes video on our Patreon page. Morning. Morning. Why don't you have that fancy hop that everybody has inside their van? Yeah, the wife also asked me, Bang, put a nice hop with a cover, just like a motorhome and all that. So, okay, we Asians, we tend to cook with oil. Char kway tiao, nasi goreng. So you can imagine cooking inside here. So no matter how well ventilated your curtains and all, they're going to smell. So that's not going to happen. So having that hop here is merely decorative. And number two, hops that's like this will require a gas outlet or a gas inlet. And if you're traveling the world, the gas, you know, you get different kinds of LPG, different heads, different ratings. So that's not going to work as well. So it is great in Europe, which is standardized. But we plan to do Thailand, we plan to do Laos, and then go into India. Things change. So what is the best? And, and again, there's maintenance, there's failure, and there's also the, 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 the risk of leakage when you're sleeping. This happens. This is always in my mind. So I think if we put this, uh, this, this uh, permanent hop here, looks great, but it's not going to be used very much. It's going to be a waste of space and money. The best, Panasonic, Media, but plenty, Milio, plenty of brands with the chuckable aerosol gas. And that's the one and it's mobile. So when you want to cook outside, just carry the thing in a suitcase, put it outside. You can buy two or three of those. And I think it'll work fine. So again, you want to uh, have something that's not really functional, that looks good, or you want something that's totally practical. 30 to 40 ringgit for a cooker. When it goes crook, just chuck it away. Okay, so without the hop here, you have actually a, a huge workspace. When you can swivel your seat, it kind of increases the volume of the van another 15%. This becomes usable space. Otherwise, you just chuck your bag here. So now, after we park, even when you're seated in it, it's pretty easy. Just push that down. Spin your... You then have another seat. So it's open. And it couples up with this table here that you can work on. You can put your MacBook or your PC here, connected to the USB and the AC power and do whatever you need to do without even stepping out of the van. Action! Mm. Huge! Done. Mm. That'd be one, that'd be another, that'd be another, and this one. How do you make sure the center of gravity stays low, Cap? You keep heavy stuff at the bottom. Oh, okay, okay. That's all. That's all you need to do. Correct. Right. Can you pull out the ledge? Further, right? yeah, yeah, pull out the latch. There's a latch. There's a spring latch here, here. Inside here, inside here. See, I'll pull it up. Alright. Yeah. Close a bit. Ah, yeah, that's right. Let's see. That's cool. Okay. This is made of custom, these are custom aluminium, thin aluminium sheets bent and painted and uh, they are lightweight, they are tough and they can be riveted at almost every point to make sure that this thing stays where it's supposed to be and aluminium rather than wood, I was thinking of wood but then the risk of squeaks and the thing may rot away, stuff like that you know so I, I, I never mind it looks a little bit more industrial but I guess it kind of gives a good feel white roof, white this and also it's pretty easy for us to put these recessed lighting bits on it so you can see it's all tissues mm -hmm. light stuff a bit of toiletries because the sink is here and this is our clothes, clothes cabinet so we keep clothes here clothes have a uh, cloth and clothes very light and this one as well We kept the latches simple, so that it doesn't feel nothing fancy, just off-center latches. Air conditioning, yeah, for the rear unit. Or if it gets too warm, or if you're stuck in the rain and there's no alternative, 
for ventilation we turn on the engine and we run this 12 volt unit doesn't consume much fuel so being a diesel you can idle it forever but so far we've done that maybe twice in the past six months is this a working sink captain yes it is it is you switch on the water pump and voila there's a 110 liter water tank under this sufficient for more than a few days together Okay, fresh water comes from a tank, uh, 117 litres. Uh, we asked for 120, I think usable about 117 to 115 litres. More than enough for two people, almost for four or five days. We never had a problem. And it runs from on a 12 volt uh, water pump system. We have not installed a water heater, the propane water heater, which we will at some stage. But at the moment, whatever water that comes out goes into the sink, goes into a pipe and goes into a holding grey tank. Uh, volume about 45 liters and we consistently go over a drain and just empty it so this would be the bathroom we have frosted glass for you know <laughs> obvious reasons hmm? and it's actually two and a half foot by about almost three feet 30, 32 inches by uh, it's about 28 28 by 36 inches what's it made of cap? Inches. it's uh, made of wood compressed wood but it has this lining which makes it totally waterproof and this is this is a polished stainless steel full-length mirror inside captain what else feeds the gray tank uh any water that has nothing to do with sanitation uh you know uh from the sink from the bathroom goes into a gray tank and when we find a drain or somewhere we can dispose of the gray tank we just uh, throw it throw it away open the bath and it just flows out oh i noticed you don't have a toilet uh, we do have a toilet actually in the bathroom uh, we use a potter potty uh, it was a big big argument whether we want to have a black tank and a, a proper toilet or one that can be uh, mobile so i opted for a mobile one plainly because you hardly do your number two in the van as much as you can so that's more for emergency and if you do get a potter potty do make sure you get the best one because it, it doesn't leak it keeps the smell totally out of, uh, you know, uh, there's no leakage of smell as well. But for today, we are now camping at Rainbow Valley. Facilities are there. So I intentionally did not bring the, 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 the potter potty. And it becomes a very good uh, storage cabinet. Keeps my van very, very neat. If you could do things differently, what would you do different about this? Having, we are losing a lot of real estate by having a monument like this inside. If I can do things differently, I would have made the bathroom to be about table height and it will fold up for use and you can use a nice high quality shower curtain that keeps things dry and when you're not using it just fold it down and you have a wide expanse of space so that would be something I I even may consider after two to three years you know wrecking this and then modifying it to be something like that When you click subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video.